Hey you guys, it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is my long-awaited rewind plan with me for the week of May, oh God, what does that say? May 18th to the 24th. Um, that is my daughter's pre-K graduation and ugh, I can't believe my baby is starting kindergarten. Um, so anyways, this is a printable kit from my girl, Stephanie, a beautiful planning. I do have a coupon code for her shop. It is Brittany 15 and that'll save you 15% off. There's no minimum in Shopify, but if you shop through Etsy, then there is a $5 minimum, I believe. But um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It might be too late for this kit, but I mean, definitely for next year, or maybe if you guys are having like later postponed, like little kid graduations. Um, but anyways, I originally did this as a talk through, as you probably can tell by all of my hand movements and such, but the talk through y'all was two hours. Yeah, two hours. And this is an hour. So I decided to speed it up, do a voiceover. And it, right now it's at two times the speed, so like half the speed. And I think this will be a good speed. I mean, if some parts are like taking a little bit long time, then I will just like speed it up more as I'm like doing this. But anyways, um, yeah, you are going to see me wearing pajamas. I actually did this voiceover, or no, not voiceover, this plan with me, the talk through, over three days. So I didn't sit there for two hours just planning, y'all, don't worry. But um, I did it over three different days. So um, this first part where I do the base, it's late at night. And yeah, I am wearing my pajamas so anyways at least those are the cute ones actually it's like the only cute pair of pajamas I have but this is like a total random tangent so with the kit I did like I said use a printable kit from beautiful planning and then I used foil overlays these are the rainbow foil overlays from scribble prints co they were on such a discount of eight dollars and I had to grab one because I thought it would be perfect for this week um, just with all of like the colors and everything. So I grabbed it on purpose for this week. And then also too, I changed the coloring of the kit. No, I didn't change the coloring. So all of the full box you see, like I didn't change, but you're gonna see a lot of gray and black. And like you can see, for instance, I'm doing black glitter headers. That is not how the kit was done originally. It was like very colorful colors, which I loved the colorful colors and I was gonna use it. And then I was looking at my rainbow wiggle and I was like, the rainbow wiggle is not going to really shine and look good on a color. I thought the rainbow wiggle would look better and would pop more if it was on blacks and grays. So what I did is I went through three or four, no, I went through three different kits of beautiful planning. That's the other awesome thing about printables. Oh, I'm showing you my cut. <laughs> I got cut on the finger by a lobster tail and it was a dead lobster. I know, like first world problems. But anyways, um, but I went through like three kits and that's what I was saying. The beautiful thing about printables is you can reuse them over and over and over again. And if you wanna like bring in different things to add to a kit, you can. So I went in and I did all of the same color glitter headers. So I did all black because I thought that would look the best with the glitter headers. So I, they're all the same exact color. I've never done, I don't think just one glitter header that's the same, but it really looks good. I like it. And especially since the rainbow foil is different, I love it. Oh, that is a picture that I'm doing of Alondra. So um, I had to be extra, you know, and her graduation was virtual. It was not actually in, you know, you know, presence of like her teacher and her classmates or whatever, but it was virtual. And that is her doing a little silly face. So do y'all know what that's from? It's a TikTok dance and she's obsessed with this TikTok song and dance. So if you guys comment down below, you can guess which one you think she's doing. So we did on her pre-K graduation, actual pictures in front of like our house and stuff like that. And like I said, I was extra because we got her the cap and gown. Well, my mom got her the cap and gown and I was like, okay, yes, she definitely needs one. It was funny though, because since the graduation was virtual, she was the only one wearing the cap and gown and like all the little kids were like, I want a cap and gown. And I was like, oh, maybe we shouldn't have done that for the virtual graduation because I felt bad. But anyways, so um, afterwards, maybe like a couple weeks later, we ended up going by her school because we moved away. So we live like 30, 35 minutes away from her school now. 
So we were happened to be in the neighborhood. And since I knew we were going to be in the neighborhood, it was always oh, on Father's Day, actually. I was like, you know what? Let's bring her cap and gown because I wanted to get some pictures of her in front of her school. So we took some pictures of her in front of her like classroom door and like classroom area. And then we took some in front of like the like the pre-K playground. So that's where that picture was. So also she's doing the actin silly. Is that what they say? You know, like the silly part on the savage TikTok dance. That's what that little hand movement was on like her head with her tongue sticking out. She does that dance really good too. I'm, I'm like a little, I don't know. She's, she's, she cracks me up. But anyway, so that's what she was doing in case you guys were wondering. Um, but yeah, I love that picture of her. I got a lot of cute pictures of her on that day. So I'm excited. And of course I wanted to add it into my spread. I love adding photos into my spreads. Got the idea from my girl, Amy, and I'm just obsessed. I do wish though, I mean, I got her a pink cap and gown. This is first world problems, I know, but I wish it was a different color to match the like the spread better, you know, or I wish the spread had pink, but it's all good in the hood. It actually flows really good. I'm looking at it right now and it's cute. So anyways, though, um, but yeah, so I did add things to make the week different. I went on a side tangent. I'm sorry. So um, you're going to see like a lot of the boxes, the bill dues, the like weekly tracker on the sidebar. A lot of that are the blacks and the grays. And I really love how that looks and how that came together. Um, so yeah, I just, I don't know. I think it looks really great. And also SPC, she did do a kit. I don't know if the kit is still in her shop. Um, but she did do a kit with this art as well. And hers was a lot of the blacks and the grays. And that's kind of where I got the idea from. Cause I remember seeing it. Cause I was like, God, I don't know if this rainbow wiggle is going to look good. And then I remembered, oh, Andrea did this. So I looked and she did do the blacks and the gray. So I was like, yes, that's what I'm going to do. That is genius. So um, I do put an extender on Wednesday the 20th because that is the day of Alondra's pre-K graduation. And I have a lot of stuff to mark. Um, and then really that is it for the base. Just doing um, overlays, things like that. I didn't do like a main core foil. It's literally just the rainbow foil. And I absolutely love it. Um, so that is basically it for the base. I did ask you guys for questions on Instagram and I had mentioned it in a recent plan with me. And so I also got some questions in the plan with me as well. So I'll go ahead and start with Instagram because I did screenshot those and I had a feeling I wouldn't be able to talk all the way through. So I'm gonna try to do these questions. I'm trying to look here too with the editing. Yeah, I think I have time to answer questions. So let's go ahead and get started then. So the first question is from Sarah K Plans and it says go to Starbucks order. So that honestly depends on the season and on the time of the day. So if it is winter time and it can only be winter, so December, January and a little bit into February, um, no matter what time of day it is, I will get a peppermint mocha. That is my all time favorite. I will get it hot, not cold. Um, and then if it's like in the middle of the day, summer, spring, summer, fall, then I get a Java chip frappuccino. And that's an iced drink. So if it's in the middle of the day, then I'll get an iced drink like Java chip frappuccino. Now, if it's in the morning, but it's, you know, spring, summer, fall, I'll get a vanilla latte, skinny vanilla latte to be exact. So those are my three drinks that I always get without fault, but it just depends the time of day and the season. I don't know, is that weird? Are you guys like that too? Let me know, I'm curious. Um, so anyways, this one is from my girl, Amy Plans, and it says, what are you most looking forward to for fall and winter? Girl, everything. I love fall and winter. Fall is my favorite season, followed by winter, and I just absolutely love it. It is the best. Sorry, that's my, I don't know if you guys could hear my phone just now with the text messages. Um, but anyway, so yeah, fall and winter is my all-time favorite. Absolutely love them. So I'm honestly looking forward to the cooler weather because we now live in Dallas, Texas. We've been here almost two years and whew, does it get hot. And it's funny because I grew up in Florida, St. Petersburg, Florida. And so I was used to the heat and humidity and I, it didn't bother me. So I don't know what happened to me. I love Florida and now I'm a weakling when it comes to the heat and I can't handle it. So definitely fall and winter, looking forward to the cooler weather. And then I'm also looking forward to decorating our home because we didn't, you know, we moved in November 
and I'm just excited to actually decorate our home. I'm excited for all of the holidays, even though I don't know how Halloween's going to go this year with everything with the pandemic. Um, I'm kind of curious how that's going to be, but um, Halloween and Christmas are my favorite holidays, so I'm excited for that. Sorry, y'all. had to take a quick break. I had to go do some mom duties. But um, also, fall and winter is our birthdays. So my husband's birthday is fall, November. And then Alondra and I, we are winter babies. So I'm also excited for all of our birthdays. So yeah, I'm just honestly excited for everything for fall and winter. It's, it's just the best, in my opinion. Um, next question is from Plans with Emily. And it says, favorite show to binge watch right now? And that's funny because we cut cable. So I actually haven't been watching any TV shows. Um, God, yeah, we haven't even, we, the last show that we binged, honestly, was on Netflix, and that was Ozarks, is that season three? I think it was Ozarks season three, or was it season four? I think it's season three. Um, and that was like, what, two months ago that we binged that, I think? And we haven't binged anything since. Right now, we've been binging Marvel movies, so we've been watching all of them from the beginning, like following the timeline. So that's what we've been currently doing. We'll watch like one to two, actually one to one and a half movies a night because we'll usually start a second and then we'll like knock out and fall asleep. But um, we did end up getting like a Roku stick um, and why, it's so weird, my ex stepdad, he sent us his Roku stick because he wasn't using it and he like, ha he's like logged into like his cable account and he stayed logged in. That way we could watch cable I don't know how to explain it, but I had no idea until he told us. And I was like, oh my God, I love you so much. Um, so on there, because I love reality trash TV, specifically Bravo, the network Bravo, and all of the reals, all of the real Housewife franchises, I love. And I just started uh, binging Beverly Hills um, Housewives. So absolutely love it. Um, I watched like seven episodes in one sitting, actually like two, three days ago. And so now I'm like up to date. So I think actually the next episode comes out today because today is July 22nd for me. Um, so, oh my God, this is almost two months old. I just realized because this is like the week, May 22nd. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. But um, yeah, so currently right now trying to catch up on all of my Real Housewives uh, TV shows, but I just got caught up with Beverly Hills. Um, next question is a Bailey Kim plans and it says, what are your favorite and least favorite planner trends? I had saw this one and I was like, Ooh, I don't know. So my favorite planner trend, um, is definitely extender boxes. I've become obsessed with extender boxes. I will use an extender any way that I can. So you guys know on Wednesday, I put the full box extender, but you'll also see on Tuesday, the 19th, I haven't got to that yet. But I do a, a little mini extender for my bill dues because I had a lot to mark. So I will use an extender for more than just a full box. I will use it for a bill due. I will use it for a half box. I will use an extender any way I can. Um, I love extenders. It's honestly been my new favorite thing. So that is definitely my favorite. My least favorite trend, I was thinking about that. And I'm like, I don't know if there's any trend that... I can't stand or that I don't like um because I mean I like foil I do like scripts even though I don't use a lot of them I do like scripts um obviously I already said foil oh also my new favorite planner trend is adding pictures because I love that as I said it earlier I, I love that so pictures and extenders right now are my two favorite um god I'm going to have to think because I've honestly been thinking about it ever since she told me about that question. And I was like, girl, that's a hard one. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to think. But um, I'm going to go on to Brand's plans. And she asked me, what was the COVID testing like? Did Alondra did it too? And when does she start kinder? So three questions. So first, if you guys don't know, just like to give you a long story short, my husband was working with somebody who was positive for COVID. So he had to do mandatory quarantine. Currently, he's still doing mandatory quarantine. He's supposed to go back to work on Saturday, we believe. Um, so he did that and we went and got tested for COVID. Him and I, we got all three tests. We did the rapid, the deep nasal swab and the antibody. Um, so it was just him and I that got tested. We did not test Alondra. So that's one of the questions. And they suggested not testing her. 
Um, they said they would not do that to a five-year-old that is too invasive and they highly suggested against it, which was fine with us because we didn't want to test her anyways, but we just asked. Um, so the antibody is no big deal. It's literally just a finger prick and they squeeze your blood into a little thingy. Um, so that's nothing. I mean, I guess you don't, unless you like are scared of finger pricks. Um, just the rapid test is literally just put a Q-tip in your nose and just swig it around. That's the rapid. And then the deep nasal is, uh, you know, deep. It goes all the way in there. It does, it doesn't hurt, but it does not feel good. It's uncomfortable. Um, it made my eyes water like crazy. I wasn't crying, but it just like instantly makes your eyes water. It made my husband's eyes water too. Um, the guy said that it could make you cough. So we had to like cover our mouths with like our face mask. Cause he's like, yeah, okay, if you can just put your face mask over your mouth, because sometimes people have coughing fits when we do the deep nasal. And I was like, oh, um, I didn't have that, but definitely for about three to four days after my husband and I both had a lot of congestion. Our noses, our sinuses were really messed up bad. And he had a lot of pressure behind his eyes the next day. So the deep nasal, honestly, it's not bad. It, you feel pressure, it's uncomfortable, but I would say the afterwards is the worst. I'd rather, I, I'd rather have like the deep nasal swab every day than have the sinus pressure and the stuffiness and all because I don't know it was more than just like stuffiness it almost felt I don't know like a sinus infection but like nothing was coming out of your nose I don't know how to explain it like you just felt just gross um but anyway so yeah and by the way we're all negative thank god for that oh and then the last question she asked is when does um Alondra start kindergarten so she starts August 13th and we actually just got an email today our I did anyways from the school district because they were talking about postponing school starting school and um because i think some cities in texas are going to start after labor day um but they said that they are still um gonna have the first day of school be august 13th so i just got that email not too long ago so that's when she is going back to school and starting kindergarten um the next question is from laura lewis murillo is it murillo or murillo Anyways, it says, are you enjoying being a stay-at-home mom and wife? And I am. I absolutely love it. It's so crazy because before I ever became a mom or a wife, I was very much like, I'm going to work. I would never want to be a stay-at-home mom. That's like no shade. I'm just saying like that was my mentality before because my mom was always a working mom and that's what I knew. Um, and it's just so crazy that once I gave birth to Alondra, I was like, I don't want to like work. Like, I don't want to leave her. You know, I want to be with her always. And, um, yeah, I was a full-time working mom in case anybody doesn't know, or maybe you're new to my channel. And then when we moved to Texas actually is when I got to become a stay at home mom. So, um, I'll be in September will be two years of being a stay at home mom. And I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, it's great. It's definitely hard. It's a lot harder than people think. I think the problem with being a stay-at-home mom, the only thing I don't like about it is the judgment that you get. A lot of people judge you. They think you sit on your ass all day and you do nothing. And it's very frustrating, that judgment. Um, and it's annoying. And I don't know why people judge people anyways, but whatever, that's a whole other topic. But um, yeah, I absolutely love it. Um, it's definitely a lot harder than I thought, but especially with everything going on right now with the pandemic, I am so happy that I am a stay-at-home mom. Um, but yeah, I love it. I love that I get to be every day with Alondra and I don't miss anything. So I'm very grateful. The only thing I don't like about it is I feel guilty that my husband is doing all of the work. You know, like he, I mean, yeah, I do YouTube and I do do Sensi, but I mean, that doesn't pay bills. I mean... It probably pays like one bill. So yeah, that helps, you know, one bill. But if I was a full-time working mom and he was, you know, well, he does work full-time, then, you know, we wouldn't have to stress so much about like finances. I mean, we're able to pay our bills, but do you guys know what I'm saying? Um, we could, you know, do more activities, do more things. And, you know, well, I guess right now it doesn't really matter, does it? But I just feel bad that like financially everything is on his shoulders. So I wish I could help more. That's the only thing that I don't like and that like I feel bad about like I feel guilty if that makes sense um but anyways uh let's see what's the next question the next question is from <laughs> well Heather K plans Heather she just sent me like two sweet little messages so I miss you too um so this next question then is from actually it's the last question too from Instagram it is from is it Sakatha Sakatha Brown plans 
and it says, what subject are you looking forward to teaching Elantra the most? Which subject are you not? Um, so we did do a survey for her school, just a little background, and we chose virtual. They gave us the option if we wanted to choose virtual or in-school learning or in-campus learning. Um, and we did the survey like a week, two weeks ago, maybe longer. Um, and we chose virtual. Um, just with everything right now, and especially with our recent COVID scare, I ain't taking any chances. Also, I feel like when Alondra went to pre-K, like every single month she was sick. There are so many germs. And I, you know, got like, I don't know, I would just freak out. She comes home with just like the common cold. I would freak out thinking, oh my God, does she have COVID? I just don't want to deal with that stress and that worry. I'm just going to keep her home. And I am a stay-at-home mom. So I am very lucky that I get to do that with her. So, um, and speaking of the email that I got earlier saying that school will start August 13th, they also in the email said that we get to, you know, they're going to allow both options because the survey was just to see what people wanted to do. It wasn't guaranteed, but they said that they are committed to giving us both options, virtual and campus. So I'm very relieved by that. So we will be able to do virtual. So I'm not going to like homeschool, homeschool her because with virtual, it, you know, she is going to have like. I don't know, web-based learning, like in front of a t her virtual teacher. It'll be a person, not a robot, but you know what I mean? And then she'll also get like video lessons, but obviously I am going to have to help her with things. So the subject I'm least excited, I mean, it's kindergarten. So like, what do they learn about in kindergarten? I don't, I mean, I'm, I feel like the basic stuff they, they learn, but I don't, there's really no subject that I'm least excited to teach her about because I just think it's going to be so much fun to watch her learn and to grow. Um, I can't think of one. I mean, cause I was going to say math. Like initially I was like math. I don't want to teach math or like, is it social studies or history? I'm just like not a good like history person, but, and my husband's better at math than I am, but I mean, it's kindergarten. So, I mean, I can teach her one plus one plus she already knows one plus one. So that I'm good with. However, I don't know if Texas does this kind of math. I need to learn or like look it up, but like, oh, I don't even know what kind of math it's called, but like. I don't know why some states have changed it to where like, okay, what's five plus five? You could just do, is it called common core math? You would just be like five plus five is 10 and that's your answer. Well, now you have to like do all of these weird funky ways to show how you got the answer 10. I don't know. It's very weird. I think it's called common core math. Um, so if that is going to be the kind of math she has to do in Texas, I need to look that up. Then I am not looking forward to that. Like I, I mean, and I assume they would start teaching that probably in kinder so they can like start getting used to that. I don't know. But I'm honestly excited for all of it. I'm most excited to share how to read. And I've actually already been doing that. We've been practicing on sight words. And Alondra is somebody who loves to learn. She wants to learn. She loves school. So that makes it a lot more fun. She's very much like me where she just wants to learn. She wants answers to everything. And I love that. She just She's just very into it. And it just makes me so happy. Um, so anyways, yeah, but I'm most excited for her to learn how to read because like I said, I've been teaching her sight words already and she's so excited, you know, whenever she sees now the word and the you and you know, she just, she just gets excited to like find those words and we've been practicing and well, we've also been practicing two and three letter words as well to read and she's been doing awesome with that. So reading for sure, because that's something that she really wants to learn how to do, um, which is awesome. So anyways, those are all of the questions for Instagram. So thank you everyone that did submit those questions. I did have some on YouTube because I asked in my recent playing with me video, the happy mail one, I asked if y'all would submit me questions and I'm trying to see who asked a question. I think I had two on here. So I'm just looking really quickly. Okay. So this is from Chrissy Chase. Um, she said, I am trying to think of starting a YouTube channel. What is your advice for newbie YouTubers? Honestly, I'm probably not the best person to give advice for that because I've been on YouTube now. This will be my seventh or eighth year. And <laughs> there's people who like have started YouTube for like a year that have like way more watchers, like, or like way more views on a video than I do. And like way more subscribers than I do. So, I mean, I would definitely say be yourself, be consistent. Um, those are, are like the two big ones. And then also besides being yourself and being consistent, really your thumbnail and your title is key. 
Like, I mean, if you're just doing planner videos, then your thumbnails or I mean, your title is not that big of a deal. Thumbnail, I'm not sure. I think planner peeps just watch whatever. I don't know if planner peeps care about the thumbnails. I don't because I know there's people that I watch that sometimes do thumbnails and then sometimes don't. And I don't care. I'll watch it because I like thumbnails, you know. Um, so I don't know if you're talking about YouTube, like playing with me videos or just regular. But if you're doing vlogs, like how I do vlogs or other types of videos, a thumbnail is key because that's what makes people want to click. And so is your title. Also, video quality. Now, again, I don't know if you're trying to do Plan With Me's or not, because there's some people I watch and their video quality isn't that great with the Plan With Me videos, but I don't mind. But if it's a vlog and it's like not good video quality, I'm not watching it. Um, so I guess it depends what you're doing. But if you're doing vlogs or other types of videos, sit downs, video quality is key, in my personal opinion. But I'm not also saying like, I don't want it to sound like, oh, you need to go buy a really, really, really expensive camera because I'm not saying that. And I don't know why I am not. Oh, okay. I guess I was doing something with that foil. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm not trying to say you need to buy all of this stuff. Um, I used to film on just like a cheapy camera and my iPhone. So I would suggest if you're just starting out, don't go and spend all of this money on equipment and things. Use what you have. Um, I mean, if you have the funds to go and you want to go and get like a really nice expensive camera, obviously that's your personal preference. But I mean, when I started out, I just used the camera that I had and my iPhone and it worked fine. Um, I hope that answered your question. I, but I mean, I don't know, like for me, it's hard to give advice on that because I feel like me personally, I have not succeeded in the YouTube game at all whatsoever. Like I said, I've been on YouTube for a very long time and it's taken me a long time just to hit over the 10,000 subscriber mark and a lot of my videos don't even get a lot of views like even if you look at my planner videos compare it to other new planner peeps the view count is way different there's people who are newer to plan with me's that have 500 to a thousand views and I will upload a video and I will get like at the most on a good week 300 views usually my views are like just under 200 for planner videos so again, I'm not like the expert, obviously, because um, yeah, I don't know. I don't get a lot of like views on mine. So I hope that helps a little bit in some way. Um, but I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, if you want to do YouTube, just do it. Like have fun, be yourself and literally just, just do it. I mean, it's a lot of fun. Um, so the next question that Chrissy Chase asked me is, am I going to be doing back to school shopping? since we're gonna be doing virtual. Um, and so, yes, I'm definitely doing back to school shopping because Alondra has no clothes. All of her clothes are too small for her and she needs, yeah, she needs them. Like all of her shorts, her pants. Well, we just bought her a pair of shoes, like like outside play shoes. But yeah, she's just been wearing dresses because none of like nothing else fits her. Plus it's hot as hell outside. So dresses are great um, for right now. But yeah, so for sure we are doing back to school shopping. Um, I actually need to get on that because since school is officially starting on August 13th, I need to get on that. But yeah, I'm going to be doing that and I will on my channel be doing, I don't know if I'm going to do a shop with me, but for sure it'll be a haul video. So stay tuned. And then the next question, or is this the last question that I have? Yeah, the last question I have is from Amy, Amy Plans. She asked me a question on Instagram, but she also asked me one on YouTube. And she just said, when it comes to Christmas kits, do you like gold or silver? And that honestly, for me, depends on the art. So I don't really have a preference, gold or silver, with Christmas kits. It just depends on the art. So those are all of the questions that I received. So thank you so much to everyone that submitted them on Instagram and YouTube. Definitely helped because I don't think I would have been able to <laughs> do this voiceover just staring at my planner. So anyways, I hope you guys did like that. Definitely let me know if you liked it and we can probably do more like Q and A's randomly here and there. I do have some other videos that I want to film. I want to do another haul video and I want to do a, uh, which reminds me, Once More With Love is having a sale today, 15% off. I'm going to need to get on that. But um, anyways, um, I want to do another haul video, which I have some things that just came in. And then I also want to do my June highlights, my June monthly highlights. I haven't done that yet, so I need to get on that. But anyways, um, I am currently right now, as you see, 
fiddling with the deco because, you know, the deco is my nemesis and I don't know how to put down a sticker and leave it. I have to move it 100 million times, as you guys know. Um, and then what else? I think, did I change anything? Oh, yeah, you guys will see there's some stuff that I change in here. So I put that bow down on the very last bottom box. You can see it there, the bow uh, in the sidebar, the last box. I do remove that. And then I add, um, I only had three like header overlays left um, of like the header overlays. And I was like, what am I going to do with just three random header overlays? So I removed the bow because I really didn't like it. And then I put the three header overlays there on the bottom of that box, which you will see. I don't know if I do a close up of it or not. I can't remember. But um, I did do that. And was there anything else that I changed? Oh, I'm adding the twinkles right now. Um, I didn't add a lot, but after I stopped filming, I ended up adding more twinkle, which I don't know. I mean, that's very minuscule. So, um, but that is what I did there. And that is honestly it for the base. I'm trying to look at it right now and then compare it to like the screen. And I think that's it. So once I finish this, we should move on to the day by day. Actually, no, we will be moving on to the sidebar. Um, and on the sidebar and the half box, I'm going to put, it's going to say pre-K graduation and it's going to be Celeste from SPC, her old scribblers. They're no longer, like she doesn't make them anymore, but, um, it's in, she's in a cap and a gown. And then the pre-K graduation is just a script that I made on my own. So I am going to put that in the half box. I still haven't like filled out my habit tracker because I couldn't remember like what I was tracking this week because I have vitamins the week before and then the week after I have exercise. Uh, you know what? I think it was exercise because I remember on Tuesday night I had um I had my, my stepmom and my dad came to town. Spoil alert, you're gonna see that when I do day by day. And I had her do the ab challenge exercise with me and she was like, oh my God, this killed me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was exercise because now I'm looking at the next week and it's it's I put in a box or whatever that I finished the app challenge. So, okay, yay. Well, I'm glad I could figure that out while doing the voiceover with you guys. So there, I'm giving y'all a wiggle. I'm wiggling it. I'm, I'm not good at doing the wiggle. I'm so sorry, but just know the foil in person looks beautiful. looks so, so beautiful. And then I use a lot of the circle icons throughout the week as well to add in more of the rainbow foil. And I absolutely love it. Um, okay. So yeah, you can see me right now putting in the pre-K graduation script and then I was trying to figure out where I wanted to put her. So I just like plopped her on top, which you will see eventually. Also totally random side note, but if you hear like noise, Idam is outside doing yard work. So I don't know if you guys can actually hear it. So if like the computer is picking that up, but if you hear like a mowing sound, that's him doing the yard work. So just FYI, it's probably like too late to give that little like disclosure because it's already like 32 minutes into the voiceover, but if you were wondering, now you know. So it looks like the base is finally done and yeah, it's getting ready to jump to the next clip and you will see the changes that I made. So I am gonna show you guys the bottom there. I think it just looks so much better than the bow in my opinion. Um, and it did match the Wednesday box. So like how it had that like confetti overlay on the top. So this one kind of has like the confetti overlay on the bottom. So that's what I was thinking. And then I think we're finally gonna go into the day by day. So I'm going to go ahead and get started um, because I feel like this is going to go fast and then I'm going to get like totally sidetracked. Also, I'm not good at like rewind playing with me. So I start all over the place. I start at the bottom then I move to the top. Like I go back and forth. I can't just like start at the top and go like all the way down chronologically. I am a jumper. So if you notice that, I apologize. Um, but the first thing that I am putting down is a upload video. So I did upload an Erin Condren haul, which is like really weird because well, now everybody and Erin Condren, but um, back then people actually still liked her. So I uploaded an Erin Condren haul on that day. And as you can see, I'm already moving to the bottom. And that box is going to get moved because I realized I put it in the wrong spot. But that is a shopping cart from Sticky Essentials. Or shopping cart? Oh my god, that is a suitcase from Sticky Essentials, that icon there. And um, that is to mark that my dad came into town. Um, so it wasn't planned for my dad and my stepmom to come into town this week. But my stepmom was flying in on Tuesday the 19th. And she was stopping in Dallas. So my dad figured, hey, why don't I just pick you up in Dallas? They live in San Antonio. And then we can like see us. So I said, yeah, that's fine. 
So that's how it ended up working out. So my dad came up Monday night. So my dad came to town. Um, and yeah, that was really nice because they haven't seen our house. Uh, well, my dad helped us move, but he saw it like completely empty and filled with boxes, you know? So, and my stepmom has never seen the house. So it was nice that they could see it pretty much decorated. Oh, I'm showing you guys Alondra. She, oh my God, it's so cute. Look, that's her little planner with her little plan with me stickers. So super freaking cute. Um, I was just showing you guys that. I don't know why I was, I can't remember, but anyways, she's so cute with her little planner. Um, and then that girl boss sticker is a munchkin. And I took that foiled flag and I just layered the munchkin on top of that. That way there was foil behind it. Um, and it says girl boss and you know, shout out to Kalo Kristen because I messaged her and I was like, yo, you're like the layering queen. I need some help because I suck at layering and she helped me figure out how to use the flag. So shout out to her. But um, I am a Scentsy consultant and I hit 50,000 sales on that day. So I wanted to mark it because I got like an award and stuff. You, I get a little award and a little certificate. And so I was very proud of myself, you know, trying to be a girl boss. So anyways, um, that's what I marked. And then the last box on that day was a bill due. Um, so anyways, now I'm done with the bottom and I'm moving it back up to the top. I'm clearly, I'm just talking. Yes. Okay. Also that upload sticker, it is gray, but you can't, it's like hard to see, but that is also from beautiful planning. Um, so anyways, I'm using another munchkin to mark that I had a deep clean day because obviously the family's coming into town. I'm not going to have my house look like shit. You know what I'm saying? So I did deep clean that day. And that unicorn onesie is so cute. It's from the Coffee Monsters Co. And my husband has been working on a rocking, you know, a rocking horse. Well, this is a rocking unicorn. By the way, this rocking unicorn is massive. It can fit like two to three kids. Like it can fit my husband and my daughter perfectly. So it could probably fit three little kids. And it like rocks. It's so freaking cute. He did so good on it. If you watch my vlogs and you know about it. But um, yeah, so we finally finished it and did the final touches on that day. So I use the unicorn to mark that because, you know, it makes sense. So, oh, that's my extender box that I did for my bill due. I obviously didn't do that on camera. So um, anyways, but that is all I did was like measure out how big the bill due boxes are. And then I just doubled the size and then I just cut it out in my silhouette. I do have a tutorial on how to make full box extenders the vertical and horizontal ones. So if you guys want to know how to make your own, I'll link it in the description or put it in the iCards, one of the two. You guys can find it. It's under my Silhouette Tutorials playlist. And I have a few tutorials there if y'all want to learn or whatnot. So anyways, two bills on the 19th and I'm going to finagle with this box like 100 million times to get it just right because you guys already know how I do. I love to mess with my boxes. So I will just start at the top. Yeah, I think I'll start at the top because I don't know what I'm going to do after this. So first things first, we had to pick up Claudia at the airport. I did use a icon from the Rainbow Wiggle the airplane one because that made the most sense, obviously. Had to go to DFW airport, which man, DFW, just a quick little rant. What a scam. You know, if you're going to drop off somebody at the airport or pick somebody up, you have to pay a freaking toll. I kid you not, a toll. It's the biggest BS in the world, I swear. It's it's one of the most annoying things. Like, who? why would you have to pay a toll to drop somebody off at the airport? You know what? Don't even get me started on people trying to rip you off. But anyways, just FYI, if you ever have to get dropped off at the airport or have someone pick you up or you need to go pick someone up or drop someone off, you got to pay a toll. So, FYI. Um, so anyways, yeah, we picked up Claudia at the airport. Then after that, we ended up going to Costco, but I don't mark going to Costco because I got a new rug from Costco. So I just marked getting the new rug. Absolutely love my rug so much. It's in my living room. And I used the carpet sticker from the Aladdin Once More With Love sheet. And I'm so excited about it. It's so freaking cute. And I love that, that like the Disney munchkins, like there's like random stickers on it. Like for instance, the carpet, when would you ever need to use the carpet sticker? But it like worked out perfectly that it matches this kit so well. And then also I can use it to mark that we got a new rug. So Anyways, I love it. It's so cute. I like love when I can use random stickers like that that I think I would never use and it like makes perfect sense for me, if that makes sense. So this is a printable sticker here from Ramona and Friends, like looking not so happy. And I wrote in my planner, damn fish sauce. So when we got back from Costco, um, I left my pantry door open, so it's my fault, but Wiggles, who's my dog, she's a pug, and she got into the pantry, was sniffing around, and she knocked over a bottle of fish sauce. We use fish sauce for cooking and yeah, f smell of fish is nasty, right? So fish sauce in a bottle smells like shit. It tastes good though, but it still stinks. Got all over my floors and y'all, it took me like two, three weeks. 
two or three weeks, for sure two weeks to get the smell out of my floors and one corner. It was awful. Clearly that's why I'm not putting any stickers down because I'm still talking about it. Um, but yeah, it was, oh my God, it was such a mess. It was so frustrating. So anyways, um, yeah, that's what I marked there. And then, oh, I'm going out of order. Then uh, that's another Ramona and Friends sticker, like a little cooking girl. And I marked that I cooked curry for the parents. I've never cooked for them before. And I cr cooking curry is like my best dish that I can cook. So I wanted to cook it for them, you know, show off a little bit because my curry's bomb. So um, I put that. Then I used another Ramona and Friends girl with ice cream because we ended up going to Dairy Queen that night. My dad is like obsessed with ice cream. So um, he saw that we had a Dairy Queen went by the house. So we went and got some ice cream. It was so, so, so good. Except they got rid of like the brownie. Is it a chocolate fudge brownie sundae? I think that's what it used to be called, but they got rid of that. So I was not happy about that, but it's all right. And then I don't know what I'm going to mark next. Okay. I'm using a circle icon that's a package to mark that um, I got two packages that day. I got a package from my mom. Well, I should say Alondra got a package from my mom. And then I also got an Amazon package on this day. And then the last thing that I'm going to mark, I don't know why I'm taking forever, is going to be a appointment label. And it says anal glands or it will say anal glands on it. Um, and I used a paw print icon sticker because I went and took Wiggles to get her anal glands expressed. I know it's disgusting, but... She's a small dog and, you know, got to get it done. Sorry, Alondra came in here. I mean, our voiceover, you know, I can't do it all in one sitting. So anyways, that's what I mark for Tuesday the 19th. Then moving on to Wednesday, this was the big day of Alondra's pre-K graduation. And I had like a hard time deciding what I wanted to do because I love extender boxes, but the one thing that I don't like is that when you put things underneath, you can't see what's underneath. Does that make sense? Like you have to lift it up to see it. And I really wanted in the middle box that you see, um, I really wanted the pre-K graduation half box to go there because I wanted to have my full box closed and be able to see, boom, this is pre-K graduation. But I like everything in chronological order. And when it's not in chronological order, my brain just can't handle that. So I knew it would drive me nuts. So I decided to go ahead and put it at the very top of the day because the pre-K graduation was first thing in the morning. Um, so that's how I marked it. I did another script sticker um, that I made myself. I put it on a half box and then I'm using another Celeste. And then I also like too that I like now looking at it because that it's different. So you don't see both of the Celeste graduation. Not that it matters, but like, I don't like to use the same sticker like over and over. <laughs> Because, you know, I'm a little cuckoo sometimes. But, um, so yeah, now when it's down, you can't tell that there's two Celeste girls in a graduation cap and gown. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But anyways, so I go ahead and I put that down. I'm not sure what I am going to put now. You can still see I'm, like, finagling with it. Um, I had a hard time. That's the other thing. When you put down stickers on the extender box, um, you have to, like, be careful because I don't know. I have a hard time sometimes getting it straight. And then when if you want to peel it up to move it, it can be a witch. So just FYI on that. But other than that, extenders are great. I absolutely love them. So genius idea, whoever came up with it. Um, the next thing that I am going to put in is a sticker from Once More With Love. It is a teacher sticker. And I it's for, why am I having a brain fart? It's for Alondra because, oh, I'm moving down. I'll just tell you guys real quick. Um, Alondra, her teacher ended up doing superlatives for the class. And um, Alondra got the Future Teacher Award, like the Future Teacher Superlative. Um, and it was really sweet. I posted like a video of her getting that superlative on my personal Instagram. And it was really sweet and nice. And I don't know, Alondra was very excited. She was definitely like the teacher's helper. And so it just worked out perfectly that she got that award. And so I ordered that munchkin. Isn't that crazy? I ordered that munchkin sticker so I could use it for the spread. I know, that's probably nuts. But also it works out good because with school starting, I will be able to use it. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Um, I do put down a bill due sticker. That is for our home security system. So put that down. What am I doing? I take forever, y'all. And this is speed sped up times two. Okay, here we go. There you go, Brittany. So I'm working from the bottom up, as you can tell. So that movie box, movie marquee sticker is for The Wrong Missy. Oh my God, you guys. If you have Netflix, you need to watch The Wrong Missy. I've been telling everyone and their mom to watch this movie. It is the funniest shit ever. 
I am not kidding. I was laughing so hard the entire time. It is very inappropriate. Um, David Spade is the main actor. It's a Happy Gilmore film, like produced by Happy Gilmore Productions, so like Adam Sandler. You guys, it has Rob Schneider. It has the other guy with like the wonky eye um, in it. But oh my God, you guys, this movie is so funny. Like I don't even know how to like tell you. It's just, it's, it's amazing. You need to watch it. It's so funny. If you don't like sexual stuff, uh, derogatory stuff, then don't watch it, you know, if, if you're like that. Um, or I mean, if you don't like that, if you do though, you should watch it. Cause I, oh my God, my, my mouth was literally like on the floor. I feel like the entire time. Cause I was like, oh my God, I couldn't believe half of like the stuff they put in there, like sexual and derogatory stuff. I was like, are you kidding me? But I was living for it because uh, <laughs> I keep myself tame on YouTube, but, uh, yeah, I have a really bad mouth and my mind is always in the gutter. So I appreciated the film very much. Um, but anyway, so yeah, The Wrong Missy, highly recommend. Watch it. You will like it if you like that kind of stuff. So anyways, above that, I mean, I've already missed that part now, but I put down a movie marquee. That is a sticker from, is it Plan for Happy? I think it's a printable sticker from Plan for Happy. Um, and I just put down that we watched Trolls 2. Alondra was very much in the Trolls phase during this month. She was obsessed with Trolls 2. It's really cute. Um, so anyways, we watched that. And then obviously I'm moving back up. I put the teacher sticker into the label. And then I don't know what I'm doing right now though. Like honestly, who the hell knows? Um, I think I'm trying to figure out how many things I'm going to put down. Um, you guys should see me trying to film, like fill in my days, like when I'm not. This is why I probably could never do Rewind Plan With Me is because it takes me forever to fill in a day because I have, like keep trying to think what I'm doing, where I'm going to put things. I have to count how many things will fit. I'm like, I'm a mess. But anyways, finally put down a sticker. So it's a camera sticker from the Rainbow Wiggle. And I just marked there to take pictures because we took graduation pictures um, after her graduation. That was very important. And we got family pictures because you guys already know, maybe if you watch my videos, but we are notorious for forgetting to take family pictures. And I get so upset, like crying upset when we don't take family pictures for big occasions. So I made sure to get them today. So it was really nice that my dad and stepmom are in town because they could actually take them of us. Um, so yeah, that was that. And then the fork and spoon, we actually went into a restaurant to eat on this day. We ate at Cracker Barrel. My parents were getting ready to leave and we hadn't eaten. So we're like, hey, well, let's go and get food. And so at this point, Texas, I think was at stage two of opening. And so we were able to go inside a restaurant and eat. Um, and it was de definitely interesting and different. But um, that's what we did. We went to Cracker Barrel. And that car sticker is also from Plan for Happy. And I just wrote that my, my dad left. I guess I could have wrote parents left. But whatever. I, I put dad leave. Um, but that was that. And then and then last box here. Oh, there's a the little movie marquee. Um, I am putting in, working from the bottom up in this box, I guess, pizza night. So we asked Alondra what she wanted for dinner. Um, we didn't plan on eating out twice this day. Like that's not a normal thing for us. But oh my God, look at all of those Ramonas. I do not like that. So th those two stickers of the girls are from Ramona and Friends. But like you see how the, like, the two Ramonas next to each other in one box and there's two in the other? Like that drives me insane. I like to switch up the character stickers. Um, but anyways, okay, we're already moving on to the other day. Whoopsies. So anyways, the present icon was for Alondra opening up presents. She got presents from us, um, you know, for graduating pre-K, big day. And then the, the phone sticker is to FaceTime my mom. So she FaceTimed my mom and then also open presents with my mom on FaceTime. And then the pizza sticker is for pizza night because that's what Alondra wanted for her pre-K graduation dinner. Um, so moving on then to Thursday, the 21st, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing half the time. I do jump around a lot. So I am sorry guys, if that kind of like bothers you with like planning. Oh, I'm marking last day of school and I'm trying to see how I want to mark last day of school because I wanted a half box and I realized I didn't have another half box. So I clearly didn't print and cut one like I intended. So it kind of like threw me through a loop to see what I was going to use because the last day of school is a script that I made myself and it was a little bit too tall for, is this considered a third box? I, I resize the boxes myself because I don't like, I like half boxes, but I like the in-between of a half box and a quarter box. So like a little bit smaller than a half box, but bigger than a quarter box. So I think that's considered a third box, right? Anyways, 
I just resize the half boxes and beautiful planning stuff and I make it a 0.711. Oh, that's my stepmom. She just made her flight. <laughs> So anyways, she's texting me to let me know that she made her flight, which is funny because I just mentioned in this plan with me how she is, you know, was flying in. But anyway, she was visiting my sister. My sister got her promotion to captain. And so she was visiting her and she was letting me know that she's on the plane. Anyways, um, shoot, I don't know what I just did because I wasn't paying attention because I was reading my text message. So I'm um, moving on to the bottom then. Um, I am going to use a circle heart icon to mark our month anniversary of being together. Yes, I am that chick that likes to mark it. I think it's cute and romantic. Not really romantic, but anyways, that's just what I do. Um, oh, I'm changing out the sticker. Okay, good. I see the top. So for the top, we slept in this day. We slept in hardcore. Um, we were exhausted. So we slept in. Um, that is a printable sticker from Print Petticoat Bandit. And then I used a money icon because that is YouTube payday. Um, so I marked that. And then I used that Ramona and Friends sticker like throwing confetti in the air. I switched out the backpack. The backpack is a printable as well from uh, Plan for Happy. Um, so I ended up switching out because I liked the confetti more. Now this sticker here is supposed to be an icy, a slushy, um, and it's something that I just like did on my own. It's no shop. So if you just go to like flat icon and look what you're looking for, then trace, then you can tra change the colors, etc. So anyways, that's what I did there. And that is to mark Bucky's because we love Bucky's. If you are a Texan, then you already know Bucky's is a staple. It's the bomb.com. But if you don't live in Texas, if you ever come to Texas, you need to find you a Bucky's because it is it's, it's the best thing in the world besides H-E-B, but I don't have an H-E-B because we don't have one in Dallas. Can someone tell me why? Tell me why. All right, I'm done singing. But yeah, why don't we have an H-E-B? You know, that was like legit, quick rant here. That was one of the things I was most excited about moving to Texas, which I know it sounds crazy. You're excited to move to Texas for a grocery store, but yes, don't judge me. So freaking excited. We come to Dallas. Where's H-E-B? We ain't got one. We got Kroger and Winco. Oh my God sad day for sure but anyways um so yeah we went to Bucky's to get an icy on that day I don't know why I just went on that random tangent but anyways Bucky's is life if you ever get to come to one um so got an icy there and then we watched Scoobs the Scooby-Doo movie so we ended up watching that that night that TV icon which you can't even see now sorry guys is a printable from Plan for Happy and then I already talked about the month anniversary. my phone is blowing up right now holy smokes all these conversations I'm getting distracted um so anyways moving on to Friday the 22nd the pillow um is to mark sleeping in and that is a printable from Plan for Happy the laundry sticker is also a printable from Plan for Happy and that is to mark a laundry day. I don't even know if I marked those things. I don't think I did because I don't see the other thing. Um, so anyways, that box, no wait, what? Oh, I put that box on the wrong day. You're going to see me move that box. I didn't even put the laundry sticker down either. So yeah, you're going to see me move that box because that's not supposed to be there. But that is a sticky acorn sticker. It is a printable sticker on Etsy. I love their stuff, but unfortunately they don't do new designs. So you can still buy all of their like old ones, but they don't make new designs anymore, which is a sad day. So I don't really buy from them anymore because I can't get new stuff. But um, anyways, that is to mark Alondra sleeping in her room because we went to California in March and then when we came back, she was sleeping with us. So she was sleeping in her own room. Everything was bright and dandy. Then once we came back from California in March, she was with us for two months straight and we could not get her out of our bed. And then finally, this was the night that she went into her bed, but not Friday night. I will move that. That actually goes on Sunday night. There I go. I'm realizing it now. Um, so anyways, that upload sticker is another upload from Beautiful Planning and that was to upload my Scentsy haul. So whenever I mark vlogs, I don't mark it every single day because I basically upload vlogs. I upload vlogs every day where I don't upload another video. I used to do double uploads. I used to upload a vlog every single day plus another video sometimes. I don't do a double uploads anymore. That was way too much work. Um, so anyways though, um, but if I upload a video that's not a vlog, I put it in one of those upload stickers. So this day was a Scentsy haul. And then I'm going to move that upload sticker again. Hold on. My mom is texting me, y'all. One second. Okay. I am back. And I am now putting in, which you're going to see me rearrange this though. Um, but I am putting in that fancy label. Is that what we call them? I think so. 
Um, and inside that, oh, that's where I got confused because I didn't know which sticker I wanted to use to mark that we started working on our garage shelves. I should say Edom started working on them. He built garage shelves in our garage, obviously. So anyways, he started that project that day. But I couldn't think of what sticker I wanted to use. So I think you guys will see me mark that at a later time. I think that's what I'm talking about right now that I don't know what I want to do. Um, but there's that laundry sticker that I talked about earlier. Um, that is from Plan for Happy, a printable sticker to mark laundry day. Um, and then I am using a circle icon from the Rainbow Wiggle. It's like a movie marquee. And that is to mark editing because I did edit that day. And then I'm going to use, you'll see a munchkin sticker from Once More With Love on a silhouette. And that is to mark that on that day, I did print and cut a bunch of stickers. And then I will switch around the upload and the that fancy label because eventually I do put on a house icon in that fancy label and I didn't want it to be icon and then right underneath be that movie marquee icon. I wanted to split up the icons. So I will move those around because of that whenever I get to it apparently. So now moving on to Saturday, the first thing I'm going to put in is like a strip of washi and oh, I can't think of who this weather icon sticker is from. Um, I'll have the shop linked in the description box. I'll have all shops, by the way, um, linked in the description box of this video. So if you want to check them out, you can. If I know any coupon codes, I will also have them in the description box as well to save you some coin. But um, yeah, I just marked a thunderstorm for that day, which I don't know why I marked that. I typically don't mark weather. So it must have been a really bad thunderstorm or I must have had nothing else to mark because I like to put three things in each box. Um, that's what I typically do. I typically always put three things. I usually rarely put four. I don't know. Whenever I try to put four, I feel like it looks very squished and it doesn't look good. Um, I know some people put four, but like, I don't know. Anyways, that was just like a random thought there. But yeah, I like three things per box at minimum. So I probably, I just needed something to mark. But anyways, um, the other thing, I don't know how, what order I'm gonna, so this is the bad thing that I jump around a lot with this voiceover. I have no idea where to go from here. But clearly, we're going out of order. So I am using another circle icon to mark that I had an Instagram post. Clearly nothing happened on Saturday, nothing of significance because I only mark like an Instagram post. I only mark that in my planner. Here's some insider information for you. If I have nothing else to mark. So clearly I needed two things to like fill in the spread. Um, but anyways, you will see that munchkin going down. She is going to get removed because I didn't like the way that she looked with the spread. Also, that's my very last cleaning munchkin on my cleaning sheet until I'm completely done with that sheet. So which reminds me, I should probably get some more Cleaning Munchkins because, oh my God, Marg is pregnant, y'all. I don't think I'm spilling the beans because I'm sure by now everybody knows because she did send out an email last night, but I got it this morning and she's pregnant and that's so cute. And so anyway, she's having a 15% off sale, um, but it's probably going to be gone by the time this video goes up. So if you miss that sale, I am so sorry, but yeah, there's a bunch of stuff I need to get. Um, Anyway, so that was like a random side tangent. Oh, okay, clearly I am moving on to Sunday. So Sunday I am marking in sleep in. I do not know where that sticker is from. It's from a kit. Like I used a kit um, from a printable shop and they have those sleep, I think it's the planner shack. And I think she gives you that, that like sleep in icon or whatever. It's not really an icon, but that sleep in sticker and her kits. Is it the Plano Shack? It might be. So anyways, I just marked it for Sunday. Oh, the reason why I didn't finish Saturday is because I realized I didn't have everything I needed to mark that day, like sticker wise. Most of my stickers are printables. If you, you probably could tell by now in this video. So I realized I didn't have some stickers printed that I needed to fill out Saturday. So I will go in and, and do that. I mean, you'll see it in this video, but Anyways, that's why I moved right on to Sunday. So I did put down that like mop and bucket and that is to mark cleaning the floors, obviously a mop. Um, and that is from Plan for Happy. It is a printable shop. Then those stickers I got from Beautiful Planning. It's an old $2 Tuesday. I don't even know if that's in her shop anymore, but I like them to mark whenever I work on stickers. So I just put crop kit 
And then you will see here, this is a different day because now you can see that I filled in the spread with my handwriting. But that's a Ramona and Friends sticker to mark that I did troubleshoot my iMovie because I've been having a lot of issues with that and my printer. So iMovie was messing up this day and so was my printer. So I was hella mad as you, that was me <laughs> in the morning, literally looking that pissed off with my coffee. Um, then I used another printable sticker from Ramona and Friends doing the dishes and this was a cleaning day. And then at the bottom, that's from Oh Hello Michelle. Oh Hello Michelle Co. I don't know if the Co is at the end of it. But this day I actually tried to put Alondra to sleep in her own room, but she was feeling scared and uncomfortable. So I ended up sleeping with her that night. And then that Amazon Ramona and Friends sticker is to mark that I had an Amazon delivery. Um, and then what am I doing? Uh, oh, going back to Sunday, I did put down a pencil that is from plan for happy another printable. And that was to mark starting Daisy workbooks. Cause my daughter did start girl scouts and she started on a Daisy workbook to get a patch. And then the circle TV icon is from the rainbow wiggle and we watched onward and that completes this week's spread. Whew. I am so tired. I need me some water. I am parched. I did slow down this part to like real time. So that way you guys could see the week in all of its rainbow glory. I love this week so much. It's like really sad though, because since this is a rewind playing with me, like I'm not looking at this week anymore. Well, I mean, I'm looking at it right now, but like once I'm done, I'm going to flip it back to the current week. Do you guys know what I mean? So it's kind of sad. I don't get to like just stare at her in her glory or have her out on my desk for like the whole week. I don't know if that makes sense. But anyways, though, I'm just giving you guys a close up of the spread. I hope you guys liked the rewind plan with me. I don't do them a lot as y'all know. So I know like my like putting down the stickers goes all over the place, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it anyways. But if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you aren't in my channel, please subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. So thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.